Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Tron. I got a little bit more before I get out of here. Let's get into it. Child Kenya has found a man. Yet another one to be on the show. She will not be outdone. So the sun is reporting, allegedly Kenya is dating wealthy restaurateur Roy Shalomo after divorce from Mark Daly. Now that's something that I haven't seen in the blogs. So Kenya is divorced now. So Roy is Israeli, he's in his mid forties. He lives in Atlanta. He owns several businesses, including Turks and Caicos, Aziza Restaurant and Lounge, Atlanta's Canvas event space, and a health food cafe called Kale Me Crazy. And they say that the Kale Me Crazy is so good, he's opened like 24 other spots. So she got a one. Let's we'll see how long he'll stay. Let's keep going. Gwyneth Paltrow was on the podcast and she was asked, you know, how was it being with Ben Affleck and being with Brad Pitt? She said Brad was like very romantic, right? But she said Ben was technically good. What does that mean? I've never heard that. Technically? That sounds interesting. Y'all, <laughs> what is Kanye West wearing? He is spotted in a new look amid news of an upcoming Yeezy collection. This is in the Yeezy collection? Are these tights? What is wrong with Kanye? <laughs> Yesterday I talked about Destiny Payton and her having a new podcast, um, Unbreakable Podcast or something like that, right? And so her first uh, guest is going to be Mel Bauer. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, this is Mel Nika. You know, the girl that was Martell's friend who was who threw him that... Um, Inez Wine Party in Atlanta. This is Mel Nika. And she's talking about like divorce, bad relationships, I think, in that clip. And y'all remember when Martell let it slip that they had slept together? Oops. So those of you who still want to see Beyonce and everything and you had got any tickets, well, because of the long lines and the technical difficulties, uh, Ticketmaster is giving away a thousand tickets for one dollar in every city where the tour is going to be. So the website is right down there, the link. Y'all go on and get on it, and good luck. I hope you get it. Y'all, shout out to Missy Elliott. She's going to be a 2023 inductee to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, along with Kate Bush, Sheryl Crow, um, George Michael, and Willie Nelson. That's amazing. Shaka Khan is going to get the Musical Excellence Reward, and this year's Amit Ertigan Award recipient is Don Cornelius. That is amazing. Duncan and you should have been in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame like a decade ago. Looks like Lil Meech and Summer Walker have gotten it together and didn't worry about that little tape that he had that had come out. She thought she did her big one. It's your girl Millie Chun. Talk to hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chun. Let's get into some topics. Let's go. So y'all know Janet Jackson is out on tour and they've been saying some, you know, like she's not performing her best. But that grapejuice.com is reporting that she has asked Lil' Kim to join her on tour. Now, that is going to be a great tour. I can't wait to see the clips of Kim actually performing. You know what I'm talking about. But I think this is going to be great. So they're reporting that Tasha Smith is going to replace Teresa Randall as uh, Martin Lawrence's wife in Bad Boys 4. Now, we don't know when Bad Boys 4 is going to premiere. But I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I understand it's a show, but this is a very different actress. She brings a different type of energy than Teresa. Teresa is way more calm than Tasha. So that'll be interesting to see. What do y'all think about that? So PK Subban, he is a former NHL star. He was on ESPN and they were talking about the game between the Panthers and the Maple Leafs. And his co-host here said that, you know, Toronto needs to pack a lunch. And he made a very unprovoked statement and said, a Lizzo lunch, right? Like, why would you say something like that? But Lizzo's fans got on it. Hold on. They wouldn't have found his mother. <laughs> so what are you trying to say, PK? You're going to have to apologize for this because that's not cool at all. So Peacock is bringing Queen's Court back for another season. And I really enjoyed that show. I think we all did, except for the way they told us everything before we actually started watching it was a good show but there will of course be new girls and they say it'd be more juicy but we may get to see some of tamar and evelyn's wedding planning now i feel like we'll see evelyn's wedding planning not so much tamar i i'm not sold on her and jr yet but we'll see so it's being reported that kim left north out on the street 
I read that she didn't realize the age limit and North was not of age, so she couldn't go into the Met. I mean, she got four bodyguards around her, but she needs to get in the car. And I, you think Kim would leave that baby like that? I think she would. Honestly, y'all, for this, I only have the headline. They're saying that uh, a team allegedly has flown in a neurologist to assess the condition of Jamie Foxx. Um, I reported along with a lot of other people that he had had a stroke. Honestly, we don't know what has happened to Jamie. Hold on. This was his post yesterday. Appreciate all the love, feeling blessed. Honestly, y'all, I don't think that Jamie did this. I think it was his people that did it just to give us some reassurance. Because, it's, you know, with alleged neurologists flying in, we don't know what has happened to him. But let's keep praying for him. And then this came out yesterday that Nick Cannon is going to replace him on Beat Shazam. So let's just keep him lifted in prayer. It's your girl, Millie Chun. We can talk about it. Bye, y'all. Hey, y'all. It's your girl, Millie Chun. I got some more minutes. Let's get into it. Y'all, I watched this and I'm in. Tuesday night, VH1. I'm watching Couples Retreat. And shout out to the Neighborhood Talk. They got y'all stuff everywhere on there. That's a good job. Let's keep going. I will be posting a video about this later on today. But I have stopped reporting about the Basketball Wives. But I did tell you I'm coming back for the reunion because Tamar is hosting. So that will be next week. I will have that for you. So Destiny Payton will be launching her new Unbreakable podcast soon. And it's about healing and conversations with people, I'm guessing, who have been through similar things that she's been through. So, I'm happy for Destiny. I'm happy to see her applying herself and doing something. So, I wish her nothing but luck in this situation. Y'all, where is the weekend going? Goodbye, Earth? Is there anybody out there that can check on him? Y'all sliding his DMs? Like, what is he talking about? Now, you know it's Mental Health Awareness Month, so we got to check on everybody. Y'all, we got to figure out something, because what does that mean? Y'all, this is a very sad situation. This mother breaks down after she hears that her son is the one who broke into a news station and was prepared to unalive people in there. She said this is a reflection of why his dad should have been there. Okay. Child, let me tell you what's real crazy about this, right? So, he didn't hurt anyone. He went into the station at about 11.30 yesterday morning. So, he had spoken to someone outside the gate. He showed them what he had. The employee then ended the conversation and left before Nathan went to the front of the building and let off a shot. And after he did that, the man he was talking to immediately left the scene. Like, he didn't even call nobody to say, y'all, it's some stuff about to pop off. Y'all, then as soon as Jared finished doing what he did, he ran into a restaurant and went and got on Facebook Live. Within two hours, the police had found him and arrested him. That is crazy. His mother said that he's dealt with mental illness, and she said that his, if his father was home, then he would have somebody to look up to and, you know, and learn from. What do y'all think about that? Let's keep going. On a lighter note, it's almost Mother's Day. And I think this little video I'm about to play for y'all, I think y'all can agree that we all have this in common. I'll talk to y'all later, and I'll be back when I get something else. Bye, y'all. What do you say? Can I have some privacy? Privacy? Yeah. Okay. Can I have some privacy? Yeah. Okay. Hey, y'all. Hey, it's your girl, Millie Chun. Let's get into some topics. It's a lot. Let's go. First off, congratulations to Candy Burris. She has been nominated for a Tony. She said up here 24 hours after her first Emmy nomination, Candy Burris is nominated for a Tony Award. She is almost there with her EGOT, and I'm so happy for her. Congratulations. Let's keep going. Child, what Hulu freak Nick tape? They got a bad video surfacing over there on the Twitter showing black men and women engaging in various bang-bang activities in Houston at the Mocha Festival. Lil Devon said, yeah, 2023 going to be a wild summer. Woo, child. I'm glad that I know better this time. Let's keep going. I don't know if you can see this, but ASAP Rocky used this woman's head right here as a way to hoist himself up so he could jump over that barricade. And... 
I don't know if she's just really excited that ASAP Rocky touched her and it was ASAP Rocky. Or I don't know if she's come to her senses now and now she wants to do something. We'll see in a few days. Megan Thee Stallion is opening an assisted living center and plans to hire recent HBCU grads. That is why she went to school. She went to school so she could open um, hospitals and centers that could help people in her community. Good job, Megan. I'm proud of you. Congratulations. It's just a moment. I just felt like we needed to see this because this was so beautiful and Carisha was so excited, so happy. She looked great. I loved it. I still love it. So we got another blurred line situation, right? Allegedly, Marvin Gaye's family is saying that Ed Sheeran used Marvin Gaye's Let's Get It On for Ed Sheeran's Think It Out Loud song. And he said if he's found guilty, Ed Sheeran said he's not going to sing anymore. I really hope that's not the case. I don't know why people want girls to have problems so much, right? So this person up here says it's so obvious that she can't stand her. Cardi B came out and said it's not true. I talked to Lala more than any celeb. She knows everything. If you ever need something, she knows all the contacts. She has helped me a lot. Like, y'all stop doing that. Once again, the after party, it's a moment. Carisha wins. Y'all, they are saying that Jamie Foxx has taken a turn for the worse. Like, really bad. I'm going to let y'all get into all this yourself, but this is like his friend, and he's asking for prayer from all of us for Jamie. Lord, I hope that this man will be okay soon. We really and truly don't know what happened. Cardi is a moment. This is the fourth outfit. She looks great. Offset looks great, too. Child, Brad and Judy did not pick a black sperm donor. So we do not know if the baby is going to be white, Hispanic, Indian. But we do know he will not be all black. It's your girl, Millie Chun. Let's talk about it.